The first time in two years, test results are out for the standardized exam students take here in Massachusetts called MCAS. Welcome to Western Mass News at 6 on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagelinzer, and the scores are surprising many across the state. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli joins us now live in studio with more. Matt? Hi, Jordan and Chris. MCAS testing did not play out as usual in 2020 or in the spring of 2021 due to the pandemic. They weren't required for seniors to graduate, but students still took them. And while some think the test results are reflective of a lack of in-person learning, others are calling for the assessments to be abolished altogether. We've seen uh, drops across the board in the Commonwealth, and everyone is going to have to step forward and work on our kids' mental health and on their academic needs going forward to make sure that our kids get what they deserve. Jeffrey Riley, the commissioner of the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, announcing the MCAS test results from spring 2021, Tuesday morning. 46% of students in grades 3 through 8 scored meeting expectations or higher in English language arts, down from 52% in 2019. Only 33% met expectations in math, down 16% from 2019. In grade 10, 64% met expectations or higher in English language arts, which was an increase from 2019, but their math scores were down 7% from two years ago. One family from Western Mass thinks the numbers make sense. It's not a surprise, you know, because everybody was home. Meanwhile, the Massachusetts Teachers Association is speaking out, pointing to the hard work accomplished by both teachers and students while trying to stay safe during the pandemic. President Mary Najimy saying in a statement in part, to suggest now that educators and students somehow underperformed or didn't meet an arbitrary expectation is both insulting and shameful. The statement also claims test scores have an inherent bias that reinforces structural racism and puts students of color at a disadvantage. Western Mass News received a statement from Holyoke Public Schools that says, in part, the gap in performance between Holyoke and the state stayed the same in grades 3 through 8 English and decreased in grades 3 through 8 math, grade 10 English and grade 10 math. Although the gap declined, the overall level of performance continues to be very concerning. And Westfield School Superintendent Stefan Zaporowski tells Western Mass News they're implementing project and performance-based assessment as alternatives. When you have students who are very, very skilled in on hands-on type activities, but then you put them in front of a test and they don't do well, but it doesn't mean that they're not going to be a success. And others are in favor of computer adaptive assessments in place of what they think is a dated test. Why continue using a 30-year-old model that doesn't give us any better information on students than it did 20 years ago. Families will receive their students' individual test scores after September 30th. Reporting live in studio, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.